Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the next video. In this video, we are going to discuss informational utilities. We have looked at some troubleshooting or diagnostic utilities like ping and trace route in the previous video. So let's look at now some utilities which could actually provide information about your networking subsystem. The first thing uh, that I want you to show that is something called as ARP. So if we write here command ARP negative A, ARP stands for address resolution uh, protocol. Okay, so we have talked about host and you know, we have talked about uh, IP addresses, but underneath it, there is another address which is known as a MAC address. Okay, so this is basically an IP address, you can call it, and this is a MAC address. So the idea is that every machine has a unique address, uh, you know, like every DNS has a unique address, right? in the form of an IP address. Similarly, every machine has a unique address as well, which is known as MAC address, okay? So the address resolution protocol or ARP matches the IP address with the MAC address, okay? So right here you can see that basically what it is doing that it is matching the IP address with the MAC address, okay? So the idea is that locally, wherever I want to communicate or we want to communicate, let's say from our computer to router, in that case, we need MAC address specifically for local communication from one machine to another machine on the same network or from one machine to the router uh, on the same network. In that case, you're not going to use IP address, rather you're going to use MAC address. So for the local communication, we use MAC addresses directly. Okay. So there is another informational utility uh, that I would like to share with you, which is route. So if you just, you know, uh, put in route and hit enter, now you can see this is like my routing table. So on the default entry, I send everything which is not related. So you can see that here are like these uh, two entries here as well. These are my local entries. So whatever route is not related to any of it, which is not specific, which I do not know what it is about, it will be sent here on my default network interface. Okay, so you can see that all of these three interfaces are WLP3CO, uh, 3SO, and uh, you can see here we have the IP address, okay, 192.16.0.0, and the uh, as I have explained that these two are for my local communication, okay, the communication with the other machines, with other you know routers as well. So for the outside world and uh, whatever route that I don't know about, this one here is for that. So there is another way uh, to get your routing table and that is basically uh, doing the net stat. So we have uh, discussed the uh, next net stat in the previous video. If you don't know what net stat is, um, I have explained briefly in the previous video. I would recommend you to go and watch previous video if you haven't yet, okay? So we write here net stat negative or n, okay? So now if you hit enter, you can see you have the same routing table here, okay? So if you want to get the routing table, uh, you know, this is another way to get the routing table. And obviously it would have like the same information, okay? But there is one difference this time if you are able to see that in now it is instead of you know naming the destination it is actually uh, you know uh, specifically telling about the IP addresses that are being used as dest uh, of the destination source okay so 
these were some of the informational uh, utilities that we have discussed uh, so related to netstat we can like go on and on you know you can do a lot of stuff with the netstat so how how would you figure it out you would do man netstat and here you can uh, you know take a look at everything almost that you can do with this netstat command so i hope you have you know liked this video you have learned something new and i will see you in the next video